Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. We have our one of our favorite guests, Manny Pacheco, uh, my partner, John Coleman. And uh, I have no idea what we're going to talk about today. John? Manny, we, we are totally unprepared. Yeah. No, no, what? I have a surprise for you. I came in with something. Did you? Oh, good. thank <laughs> goodness. Uh-oh. <laughs> Otherwise, this would be a very short okay, video. And remember, That's true. Remember, That's... there are a few kids in the room. Oh, this is this is G-rated, oh, believe okay. me. So then I'm going to, yeah. I'll take a break. I'll be back in a half hour. No, no, no. you got to be part of this conversation. Now, Manny, because you are our Hollywood historian, uh, author and uh, broadcaster and rock on tour, I might add, I trust that this is going to be about movies. Well, it will be about Hollywood. It will be uh, it will be about the, the stars of stage and screen. And I and let me just put it out there. Recently, we lost two uh, performers, Helen Reddy and Mac Davis. Mm. They both died on the same day. So it got me to thinking, have there been other performers, actors, people on stage, singers, entertainers of sorts? who actually died on the same day. And I did some research, and you'd be very uh, surprised at what I found out. Well, what was that? Well, <laughs> well so it, it's, happened. It's, it's happened more than once. Uh, let me offer one of the most surprising days uh, in, uh, in, in 2009. Uh, there was a day in which we lost both Michael Jackson, the King of Pop, and Farrah Fawcett. Mm. Really? And, yeah, Farrah Fawcett had had She'd cancer for a, for a long time, time. right? Yeah, and so her death was imminent, and of course, all of the the news feeds were were starting to prepare for a real nice tribute to the uh, iconic actress, and they were ready. What they weren't ready, and of course, she did. She does, in fact, pass away. What they didn't prepare for is that four hours later, uh, uh, Michael Jackson had a massive heart attack. This was in 2009, 50 years old, and he dies. And as big a, a big a, a cultural phenomenon that uh, that that Farrah Fawcett was, Michael Jackson is in a league of his own. And and all of a sudden everything became all things Michael Jackson and forgotten in all of this is the passing of Farrah Fawcett. Is that just sad? It's remarkable. And it's sad that we would lose two icons. Even more remarkable is that now today, most people don't even remember the passing of Farrah Fawcett. Right. They, they, do remember, they do remember Michael Jackson, and they remember just about everything about him. And let me tell you, it was top to bottom. No matter what radio station you turned on, what television station you turned on, it was all Michael Jackson all the time. Yeah, I remember. I remember that well. Who else uh, died uh, coincidentally? On the same days, well, we have to go back to 1963 for this one. Two uh, golden age stars who uh, passed because of cancer, and both very interesting stories. Uh, the remarkable Dick Powell and the great character actor who's featured in one of my books, Jack Carson. Both died on the same day of cancer. Both It was expected they were going to die. They were both uh, diagnosed. In the, um, in the story of Dick Powell, this is a really sad story. He had been the director of a really fine, uh, a, a fine 50s epic, although it was critically panned, called The Conqueror. It featured a John Wayne, Susan Hayward, Agnes Moorhead, Pedro Amanderas, and the director was Dick Powell. And they filmed at a Utah location near the nuclear bomb sites where they were testing bombs back in the uh, mid 1940s while the radiation was still there oh, a boy. full one third of the actors that were in this movie contracted cancer uh including john wayne susan hayward and the like and dick powell and uh, it is suspected that he uh, died of that cancer that he received because of the radiation of that film from what the, a shame. What yeah, a that's shame. a really sad, sad thing. Yeah. The other actor, Jack Carson, was in a uh, stage play, and he was performing uh, Critics' Choice, which ended up in the movies with, uh, I believe, Bob Hope and, and Lucille Ball. And he collapsed on stage while, while, while uh, uh, in rehearsal. And he was diagnosed with stomach cancer, and then he died. And they both died on uh, February 3rd, 1963. So that's another day where... We lost two uh, stars of note, mm -hmm. and they yeah. both got 
full coverage on that one. You know, every year at the Academy Awards uh, television show, they do that uh, retrospective in memoriam uh, montage of everybody we've lost this year. One of the things I like is that they do that, first of all. But I also like the fact that they include writers and directors and uh, producers and people that the public really is not familiar with. So, and it's really it's really remarkable that more of them don't die on the same day. I know there's 365 days in a year, but it's really remarkable that does, that doesn't happen, right? <laughs> it, well, I don't know about that. That's pretty coincidental because think about it. It's a relatively small group of people. Right. And, and it's, you know. it's the larger stars that will tend to get that kind of mention. We had an interesting uh, interview, which uh, has aired already. Uh, people can go to our YouTube channel for it uh, about people who died uh, live on, on, stage. on stage. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and they had so many, they started out, they were going to, they figured, well, how many could there be? They had to start cutting back. There were so many who, uh, uh, and I, again, I guess in a lot of ways as a performer, you want to go out on top doing what you love. <laughs> At the time, Red Fo Red Fox and yeah. Dick Sean come to mind. Yeah. So absolutely, yes. well, they, and now, we talked about that with with w one of the authors. Yeah. The book is called "The Show Won't Go On," and it's yeah. a, it's a great book, mm. and it's not as macabre as people would think. It's really no, no, no. a tribute to the performer. Interesting stories, right. yeah. you know, uh, because of the nature of the beast performing, um, you you would might you might think that a lot of um, uh, stars would die together in a tragic accident, a car crash, or, or maybe a, a plane flight. And of course, the most famous of that is the day the music died. Right. Um, of course, that was, uh, that was when we lost Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and right. um, the Big Bopper. Right. All on the same day, same crash. That's that story has been told, and of course, it was also popularized in the in the, in the song uh, um, "American Pie," Don McLean, yep. the day the music died. But let me just tell you that there are some side stories there that will really raise the hair on the back of your neck. For example, there was a session man, a, a person who was actually touring with the band. Nobody had heard of him, and he was supposed to travel on that plane and gave up his seat because. Uh, Richie Valens had a terrible cold and wanted to get to the location quickly so that he could nurse the cold. That session man was Waylon Jennings. Wow. I know. And another of the of the performers uh, who was billed along with the Big Bopper and Richie Valens, Dion, Dion of the Belmonts, he was supposed to be on that plane trip. Again, Richie Valens took the, took the uh, spot because Dion did not think that he could afford – to pay for the trip because that money was going to pay for his parents' rent where they lived. So Dion survived. And one other thing that is kind of a, a, an eerie um, byproduct of this, th in those days, they didn't stop performances because somebody died. Today, that would probably very, be very normal to just suspend production. But back then, the show really did go on. And the next day, filling in for Buddy Holly, was a 15-year-old local talent in Minnesota. Uh, his name was Bobby V. <laughs> and because of the death of Buddy Holly and, of course, this tragic accident, Bobby V's uh, career blossomed. Yeah, and Bobby V, by the way, had a many, many hits covering Buddy Holly's songs. Yeah, and yeah. he had his own hits as well. That, uh, sure. Take Good Care of My Baby was his biggest hit, of course. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, can you imagine that? Now... My books are called Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History. So may I add a historical uh, oddity here? Is that okay? Is a, will Absolutely. it be a surprise? Oh, this is this is the uh, this is the piece de resistance. Oh. <laughs> this is the one that's going to make you go, wow. Okay. Yeah. Two presidents, two former presidents died on the same day. The really? second president of the United States, John Adams. And the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, died on exactly the same day. Now, remember that um, information could not be transferred very quickly. There was no telephones. There was newspapers. But, you know, there was really no way of distributing newspapers from Virginia to Massachusetts. Uh, uh, the third president, uh, Thomas Jefferson, died first in the morning. John Adams dies eight hours later, not knowing that Jefferson is dead. And his last words are, Thomas Jefferson survives, independence forever. 
Oh, mm. wow. But no, it gets even weirder than this. Are you ready for this? What day did they die on? They died on July 4th, 1826. Now. 1826. 50 years to the day after they signed the Declaration of Independence. It sounds like they had the same PR firm, the same no. ship writer. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm, somebody, somebody set that up, okay? I would take. Yes. I would. Re, I would. I would think about it. Might be reopened as a homicide. This is... <laughs> well, John Adams was ninety, and and Thomas Jefferson was eighty three. So I'm not sure about that. But they also died uh, fifty years to the day after the, uh, the the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And here's one more thing to consider: the fifth president, James Monroe, also died on July fourth. But on eight in 1831, five years later, oh. so three presidents actually died on the fourth of July. How do you think of that? Interesting. I guess so they, they, there was legislation, though, uh, not naming that a national holiday, and the day is not reserved for presidents, right? No, it's and, not. not. Okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> You know, you know, Art's having a field day with this. I want you. Yeah. Oh, he's I, he's going wild. Because Manny, <laughs> you are full of surprises. Well, did I? Did I not? I hope I didn't disappoint. Yeah. I thought you might like this as a topic. Yeah, that's a great surprise. Right. Yeah, and okay. and I love the way you expanded it from Hollywood out to the presidents. Right. So, Absolutely. Well, why not? Because of course, like I said, my books are part of the Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History uh, book series. History, mm -hmm. right? Good. Well, thank you, Manny. Now, uh, is this going to all be in another book? Well, the uh, the story about John Adams and Thomas Jefferson are in my latest book, Road to Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History, in, in the uh, chapter about Arthur Lake. I called the chapter From the Sublime to the Ridiculous. Well, obviously, the deaths of presidents on the same day is pretty sublime. But then it gets into the ridiculous uh, uh, career of Arthur Lake, which was a pretty funny career. So, yes, I do already mention that particular uh, aspect. I just wrote a blog on my blog site, Forgotten Hollywood uh, blog site, that uh, actually is exactly that story about the the passing of, of uh, stars of stage and screen on the same day. So you can find that expanded version of the story on my blog site. Good. And we'll look for your uh, books on Amazon. Okay. Exactly. Great. Thank you. Well, this is Manny, thank you so much. And you are, as, as John has often said, full of surprises. <laughs> and and real history uh, as well anyway uh, thank well, you Manny thank you for more on Celebrating Act 2 visit our webpage follow us on Facebook subscribe to us on YouTube and tell your friends Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life